16. Eight for the score. Still, Warner has hope. Got to win this leg, really, though. Against the throw, 24. and that's not the most auspicious start he's ever made. Because you know that Annie would get at least one in the 60, you would have thought. Well, what a time to get. Six. Inconsistent. Well, see, these conditions, sweating like donkeys, and there's the leg by leg. 89 and 93.9 tickets. Oh, 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 She's to her feet now, Brenda. Oh, 180s. They're all to Alan Warner. Uh, yet he's uh, eight four so. down. He's just got to get more consistency back into his game. Well, those hundred point twos hint that he might be able to. If you could pull it up to that, we saw Hamilton average 136 100. last night in one of them. But Jenks there, you see, pulled in that hundred point two as well. Jenks just doing enough to maintain his comfortable lead, but he's looking snatchy to me at the moment. 54. Thinking too much with the finish line, maybe, Div. Yeah, this little rally from Warner just might have affected his concentration, you know, because if Warner should win this leg against the throw and then hold the throw... 57! Ooh, 8-6 would become a different proposition for Jenkins, who had looked in control. He was 5-6 nil up, remember. Well, you're bound to get Slippy Dippy on the barrel with this incredible temperature, 91 up there. 81! Alan, you require 140. Remember, that can't be air con here because it causes turbulence around the 60. Nice steady dart here, nice solid treble needed 60. there. But Jenks right here, go one away from the match with a really nice three dart and not now needed the 60. 60. He's nowhere near as accurate on the 60s as he was earlier, Jenks. 13. Oh. Wow, that, that wasn't impressive from Warner. And he's and given he Jenkins a chance on 104. If he steps in here, that could be the, the defining moment. Double 16 here for a 104 finish. And again, just pulling it wide of the wire. Out of jail. Warner, double top. So Warren Hart continues to fight back. Oh, she might have a double barreled name, but she's given it large with a tonsillectomy. 8 5. Warren is still in this. And if he wins this, it'll be 8 6. And that's a doubt that must be creeping into Jenkins' mind. He was 6 0 up and looking for all the world like he, he might whitewash. Then that 1 5 2 finish from Warren. Change the whole mood of the game. Well, what is also going to change the mood of the game is that shot. The slipperiness of the dart on the finger. They are both pulling darts badly at times. It's who can hold this kind of consistency. Fascinating stuff, Dave. 120. Yes, and, and Alan readjusted there with the third dart, and it clearly was incorrect geometry. 45. All of people in costume, the beer will be shaking in their hands. Because 6 0 down was was I? Andy is got nowhere near his consistency around the red bit that he had in the first eight legs. See, that accuracy and the adjustment 100. is not as reliable as it used to be. It's all in the hold on the dart. And Hogan hold dominate the conditions here. 91 degrees, very humid, slippery barrel time. S B T. Just get the feeling that Jenkins is, is jerking his, his body is not as smooth as it ought to be by comparison. Warren always was a graceful thrower. Excellent point, Dave Lanning. Excellent point. Warren is controlled to the 60. For the banner now! Come on! Come on! What kind of ladylike language is that? Looking the more desperate by far is Jenks. 
Well, 91 probably would go the ball the old way of travel 17 might still pay dividends I always think we should go that way anyway and so does he his good lady is shaking rattling and rolling in the aisles the Warrenough fight back is on yes, and that's three legs on the trot and if he breaks Jenkins here well, that would represent just about the best comeback of the week thus far. Certainly on the cards, yeah. Because he is marshalling the conditions, the high humidity, the massive temperature, the slippery barrel. He is handling the situation better than Jenk, and she knows it. Gets it really together that time. Should be to the double first. Under these conditions, Dave, Tons will do to get you to the double on your leg. It looked like a walk away, and it's become a fascinating 95. piece of tungsten science. Yes, but having said that, of course, Sid Jenkins here was on a nine dart finish against uh, Phil Taylor and then <laughs> gave a double in Las Vegas. Quite remarkable leg of dart. Was he ever, yeah. <laughs> Thirty-five, and he'll require one hundred. Well, Manny Jenkins and Ailes, he would need only one leg for the match. But Warren is right on his heels. See, he's making the most biggest blobs by far. Warren is not missing by that much. I'm not going to use the word panic. Forty-six. But is looking very unsettled. Sonia. And Jenkins is make it, making it difficult for himself, so, isn't he? Absolutely. 100. Six nil up was Jenks. And he will require 180. Look to be ready. The slake is thirst, sharpish. Not now. Right then, this shot's on. Might, might not go for it. Might opt out. 86. Percentage shot. Percentage shot, Warrenar. Though, if Warrenar hits. Two trebles now, two red bits, and there would be a bit of pressure on Andy. 65. Only 65. Andy, so the fact that there's an awkward little ask. Double 16. Still a chance. He quarters of the bed. Needs to dip below the marker. Oh, making it difficult. Make has to get through the bars. 16. Here we go. Yes, Warner. And pile on another 50 points there. As it is, it could be a now would have been a possibly of a one-leg deficit. 17's handy for tops. And with Jenkins showing the pressure, Dave, in the last five one. legs, I wouldn't and put the mortgage on him getting system. this double. He's had three darts so far. And now the yeah, winner there, and that will settle it. That will settle his nerves, and Warren knows now that he has got to do something extraordinary.